So with us jumping into a new mod pack, how do we possibly surpass our last Let's Play of Better Minecraft? What if Better Minecraft is just one of a million Better Minecrafts in a multiverse of Better Minecrafts? I mean, what if Better Minecraft doesn't even exist? I mean, what if we could warp from one multiverse to another? And with that, I present to you Better Minecraft Plus. Welcome back. Of course, I am Chosen Architect, and we are now, for some reason, in an alternate reality Better Minecraft. This is the Better Minecraft Plus mod pack. I know. It sounds crazy. We left Better Minecraft, and now we're in Plus. Minecraft Plus. And what exactly does this pack have to offer that's different than regular Better Minecraft? Well, it, it's Plus. Of course. No, <laughs> I just wanted to go ahead and, and just let you guys know this pack has all the offerings that I honestly wish better Minecraft when I played it. Oh, I wish it had these mods in it. I didn't even know this pack existed. Um, so I should have started this one first. Um, but basically all of the same quests and stuff are pretty similar in this pack minus a few. And there are some more dimensions in this pack that uh, kind of don't exist in uh, the other one. Also, you have mods like Create and Tinker's Construct in this pack, some of the really familiar mods um, that you uh, may know of. So let's go ahead and get started with this adventure. That's what it's all about. That's what I love about this pack in particular is just the sheer adventure um, of it. Now, we are in a beautiful, beautiful biome here. Like this flower biome is, is gorgeous. There's also this tree over here that's really gorgeous. And this, which was right here at spawn. So, this is a horse stable. We have literally horses. Just right here. What a nice... Oh, and a villager. With some with some loots. So, uh, we don't have a lot of stuff that we can do right away. Ooh, we have this, though. Um, So, I, I get... Basically, we didn't start with anything. You would have thought that us, you know, transferring from one world to another, we would have had a little bit of help. But, uh... No, no, we're starting fresh. So we're going to have a fresh outlook on this pack. And I am super excited to uh, adventure again with you guys with all of this new stuff. So early on, this stable is actually providing us with some awesome stuff. So right away, we have hay bells, which means we can make a lot of wheat or a lot of bread. Um, and bread is actually going to be pretty useful. If we take a look at this guy... Look what he trades. Emeralds right here. Emeralds for bread. And you know what we can trade? A saddle. We can get a horse right away. This, this is what better Minecraft's all about, right? This is what you want from Minecraft. You, This right here, a horse from the start? You can't beat that, honestly. Honestly, you cannot beat it. Let's go ahead and make another stack of breads, uh, bread because I'm actually going to grab a lead as well from that guy. And then the rest of the bread will uh, just simply go towards ourself. I was going to trade the rest of that. And I'll go ahead and buy a lead. That is going to kind of make my life a little bit easier, honestly. Even, uh, like, all these cells. Like we can, of course, even get horse armor if I had enough wheat. So we have all these horses in here. Also, I think if we keep the crafting table in our inventory... Yeah, we have a crafting grid. I should have just used that. So we need to take a look at these horses, and I believe the stats are listed. So this is a speed point two with a jump height of 127. Not the greatest horse in the world. This one is a two point or a, a point two one with a 143. And what do you have? Point two. And you're a donkey. So you're probably the best horse in the stable at the moment. And well, you're gonna be our best uh our best candidate for our adventures. The awesome part is. Like, 
Well, you get a horse from the start. Like, mm, there's nothing better than being able to adventure on a pretty fast steed. And then all you gotta do is just pop open the doors and we're out. I really like this stable. Pretty cool looking. All right, love me horse. Love me now. And Horsey and I are now best friends. Best friends. We are forever friends. I hope nothing bad happens to you. Ah, okay. Let's pop out of here. And here we are. We have an entire world to explore. T entire worlds to explore. By the way, I did get a new cape. I got a cape. And I even made my texture fit the cape. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Um, but this is for migrating your Minecraft account. This is the cape you're going to get whenever you go to do that whole process. It was actually pretty easy. Um, the only problem that I can foresee with migrating accounts, I, I just uh, I have a bad feeling about like when you have a lot of accounts. Like, I don't know how that works. I, I have more than one account. I don't even know how to migrate over my my camera account. That's that's going to be a weird thing. I don't know. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's easy. Who, who knows? Maybe it all goes into one account. I, I have no idea. So I think goal for day one, avoid flying birds, <laughs> one, uh, but find sheep. Wow, I really love these biomes. By the way, that's another thing. The biomes that are in this are from the BYG mod. Uh, oh, the biomes you will go. Yes, that is a reference. Um, and yeah, it's an amazing world gen mod it is insane probably one of my favorite world gen mods um the biomes are absolutely beautiful and all of the materials and stuff that it adds is insane so many blocks uh, but it's starting to get dark already on us and we don't have any beds <laughs> so uh, we either need to find a village quickly come on mr steed i need to come up with a name for you and uh, we need to do it quickly. Oh boy, it's dark, but I need to come up with a name for the horse. It's gonna be called Clint. This is Clint the Steed. Oh, but we've gotta, yeah, we've gotta find some places to go. Oh, there's a slimy boy right there. What? I mean, we could use slime, but I think it's it's a little bit too big. For me. Oh, okay, we're taking. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get our get ourselves out of the situation. Oh no, we're in a swamp. What is that? I don't even want to know. No, <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go. Tie you off. Okay, and then I need to get out of here so that way these zombies don't kill me. If anything, I can go ahead and save that. Oh, this is a pretty looking house. Do you have a bed? Oh, you got like a, a saw? Oh, you do have a bed. Oh, thank goodness. I can actually sleep for the night. No, there's monsters. Oh, what are they gonna do? Oh, there's a, there was a wraith. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's, there's TNT. We have no way to light it, though. We have haste. Rusty irons. We have slime balls, though. Oh, good. The guards are getting them. Get them, guards. Yeah, look at that. They end up, they're just wrecking them. Can we sleep now? Oh, thank God. Oh, my, that was, that was stressful. That was a s super stressful first night. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh, what a helping hand. So this is actually a pretty nice, pretty nice little farm here. Uh, just a little nice village. Oh, I'm so glad I found this village. Now looking on the map, yeah, th there's something right here. There's like a guard tower. So we end up going in the opposite direction. There's the stable. There's something over here as well that's kind of interesting. Yeah, we definitely need to loot up here. I think this is going to be a good spot to sort of loot some things, get uh, get our gear together, and get ourselves prepped up for any other future battles. <sighs> okay, there's a an oceanography table. Oh yeah, I forgot the the villagers are so nice in this pack. Oh, we got to definitely utilize villagers way more early on. Is that what I think it is? Oh, I almost forgot to mention. There's dragons in this <laughs> And uh, this is from, uh, yeah, Ice and Fire. It is the bestiary from Ice and Fire. <laughs> oh, and this is an Ice and Fire villager? 
you can put the there's the the table to put the bestiary in to be able to learn once you have manuscripts and this guy sells manuscripts so if we put this in here we can actually learn things with uh the number of manuscripts and it will put it into this book oh this is super cool and there's our jar for my oh boy oh and all this man all the manuscripts are right here with also pixie dust Oh, that's right. We got to worry about pixies. Are dragons in the main world? Oh, no. Sea serpents. Dragon materials. Ghost? What are ghosts? I didn't even know this mod was updated to this version. Trolls? Oh, we've got to keep the bestiary on us. That's so cool. It's a, it's a podium for our... Oh, wow. I'm geeking over the mod. I didn't know Ice and Fire was updated, but I... Oh, I forgot that it was in here. By the way, this is iron and stuff that's down here. So we could technically take this. It's iron and gold. And this should be piles of copper. So that's enough for a nugget. There's a whole nugget of silver or ingots. Couple of ingots of gold. And I guess we didn't get any iron. Maybe that wasn't iron. It was just silver. Makes sense. There's a lot more hay. I'm gonna I'm gonna gra uh, gather up all that hay for sure. Just checking all these buildings over here. I mean, it's just a village, and there's so much stuff to do. We got some little thieves showing up to the party. Don't trust these fellas. They're evil. Like what is that thing? There's a snail, enchanted with protection one, just chilling. Just <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god! No, no, no! What are you? What are you? Is that from Ice and Fire? I don't know what that is. Can I get close enough to it? Oh! Oh, it is! Oh, no! No, no, no! No! Don't! Oh, it's an overworld Drake. What is that? Good thing I'm not super far from here. Oh, that was pretty convenient. I, I forgot. Yeah, I, I spawned right here. <laughs> what is, What has been added to this pack? What monstrosity? I can no longer wander without fear of dying. Can I get to this without upsetting Mr. Beast? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, am I over encumbered? I have slowness. Why do I have slowness? Is it because my inventory is full? Like, wait, wait, no, no. It gives, oh, it gives you slowness when it roars. Oh, wow. What do we do? Don't look at me like that. I am going to make my escape. I, <laughs> uh, oh, is it following me? Oh no. Oh no! Oh, oh no, this is not good. I'm running, I'm making a run for it. So I upgraded and got a few tools. Now I do want to test something real quick. Can I take down an entire tree with a single ax like I was able to in the other pack? What we're about to find out. What tree do I, ooh, melons. I'm getting distracted. All right, can I do this? Does this count? We can. Ooh, and that was an elder logs. That was an elder tree. Yeah, because that mod's on here. Is it uh, the... Oh, Druidcraft. Oh, that's right. Druidcraft. Oh, and there's the... Uh, there's the other one, too. Oh, man. That, that's in here. Um, That gives you the... Uh, yeah, Forbidden Arcanus. That gives you the unbreakable items. Oh, boy. We're going to have some fun. So, I think I've had enough adventure for this... For this time. Or at least enough of this village. Oh, boy. Let's get out of here, Clint. Let's... uh. I mean, we can actually head this direction, I think. Well, you know what? Let's go this direction. I think I've seen some better stuff this way anyways. We just kind of got to keep an eye out on the ground so we don't fall in any giant holes. So this down here looks kind of promising. Whatever this is down here, I do see some tents. That could mean illagers. And I don't think I'm ready for illagers. Yeah, I think it's similar to this thing. That's right here. Man, we need to find a place that's not... Horrible. Wow, I didn't even realize that was there. 
There's also the other structures right here. Oh boy, there's so many options. I think we should probably keep going down. Maybe, or or we could stay around this area. Like maybe this area looks pretty promising. Like this little cove area here. Yeah, surprisingly, this area looks really nice and we have some decent trees right here available to us. The biomes don't look too awful together. I think they look really good. We can build ourselves a little house here soon. Get ourselves a, a little bit of an area established so we can start to uh, sort of better ourselves and be able to, to withstand a few more hits instead of taking like a being too tapped. It's just pretty ridiculous being too tapped. You know what? Before settling down, I think I'm going to be be a bit brave. I'm going to go over here and see if this isn't or see if this isn't a village. Um, if this is actually a an outpost for uh, some enemies, we will probably uh, see if we can take some down with an axe. But I have a, I have a feeling. What in the world are those things? Are those supposed to be cicadas? Oh, my gosh. But anyways, we're going to try our best to take it down. What is this? Is this a grave? That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a grave. Uh, Clint, stay here. I'm going to see what this is all about, actually. <gasps> well, that was probably a bad thing. Oh, yep. Yep, okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's move you a little bit anyways. I don't want to wake their enemies. Wake their friends. Wow, okay. So, we got to be careful. There are eggs in here. So, but what about these graves? It is so weird. Oh, this is from Ice and Fire. When does this mod add these kind of things? We really need a shovel because that's going to... Oh, okay. We're got to get out of here. Now. We got to go now. Now. We got to go now. Clint, let's go. <laughs> we got to go. There's ghosts. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. I hope they're not following. Please let them not be following. And it's getting nighttime. Oh, man. All right. Let's... Are they following? No, we're gonna die here. Bed, I'm setting my I'm setting my respawn point. Oh, we're gonna die here. And it's gonna be all my fault. It's all my fault. I should not have been a grave robber. It's all my fault. No! Get back, you fool! Oh no. Maybe we can hold it back? I can't maybe we can kill it. Maybe. Yes, we killed it. Who are you going to call? Chosen. That's right. You're going to call me because I'm busting ghosts over here with a half a heart because I am. Ooh. Oh, boy. We've made it there. But I can tell from here. The, these guys are definitely up to no good. Up to no good. A hundred percent. Now we could go, go sneaking in by setting our spawn point. I ride him up here. We get fairly close. There's also a village over here. And a giant boat, apparently. And we make our way sneakily into the back. No one will ever know. And we steal all of their loot. They'll never know we were ever here. Stealth mode. Slime balls. Ooh, iron armor. Yes. Let's throw that bad boy on. Throw this bad boy on. Oh, boy. We're getting... Ooh, throw a helmet on. We'll take that. Um, This right here gives us plus one armor. Sneak that on. Uh, Bottles and charantine, carrots, wool, a book. Nothing else I really want. Flax seeds, no. And let's sneak our way back out. They'll never know we even showed up. That's how you do it, right there. Boom, Clint, we got this. Oh, we did it. Oh man, my partner in crime right here. Oh, oh, did they, they see me? 
They see me. Let's get rid of this. We gotta take our bed. We gotta go. Come on. Let's go. Apparently, I got I have glowing for some reason. I guarantee this is probably a bad. Oh boy, it, it's not. It can't be a good ship. It can't. But this is like a. Is this a village? It's a full blown village here, which means potentially more loot. But that boat, man, it spawned in a very weird place. You're a pirate. I have a bad feeling, yeah, that they are, they're rocket equipped. And the, yeah, they're not going to go kindly. Um, yeah, we have not found a really good village yet, have we? And this is a lumber guy. Trading wood goods. It's a carpentry apron. What all is on this sword? Slayer? And we have sweeping edge. Is Slayer 2 what's giving us that glowing on stuff? That's pretty cool. So if we just avoid the ship, we should be good. It looks like they're definitely having some issues over there. It's like a, there's a war going on. Um, I almost wonder if I could go over there and sort of just uh, kind of rough up everything and, and change this whole area by giving them a way to get up there. Like, what if I do this? Like, does this just uh, change everything? Come on guys, Pathfind. You got it. You got it. You almost got it, bud. Look at you go. Oh, they're pathfinding. They're doing it. Why are, why are you going up there? You are literally not equipped for this. Don't do it. <laughs> Tim Tell, don't do it. Maybe I can, I can pop a little hole in here for them. Maybe they'll... They can get in there and start fighting from the bottom. Yeah! Look at them go. Oh no, he's after me. Okay. I'm not ready to be hit by this thing because they are pretty tough. Whew, got him. That iron golem? Dude, that iron golem wrecked him, didn't he? What? There's a shield. Iron helmet, I'll take that. And a shield. Dude, we are getting equipped here. Oh, oh, oh. That's a spawner. That means emeralds, though. Like, we could technically set up a farm here? Early game farm? Am I the only one? That thinks that's a promising thing? Ooh, we got an iron sword now. <laughs> oh, man. We are, uh, we are getting through this pretty, pretty quick, actually. Um, if I build up here, that'll prevent them from seeing me. Don't know why I built that there. That was not intentional. There we go. I want to try and get to this chest. <gasps> oh! 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 Dude, oh my gosh. Yes. That is exactly what I need. Dime, oh, diamonds before we even get anywhere. And we also get nicer boots. I think, well, these are, these can be combined. Oh, wow. Insane. Do we have some sort of blacksmith in here? And like this right here, like 100%, this is a spawner for these things, which gives you emeralds. And this falls into this thing. Oh, man. This is, this is so cool. I'm really liking these, like, add-on village things here, like... This right here from this mod. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a chest up there. Sneaky, sneaky. And it has more manuscripts in it. Interesting. What if there's other higher tier loot in there? But the fact that we got diamonds? We already have ourselves like a diamond pick. That's insane. Absolutely ridiculous. I love it though. So this right here is 100% a farm. Look at this. Emeralds. Boots, like materials. Oh boy, what have I done? So I'm going to set up shop in here for right now, just temporarily. And I'm going to go up there and see if I can't take out some of the guards on top. That uh, are bow guards. See if I can maneuver my way around here. Because they're locked into place, like they can't go anywhere. Like, so maybe I can maneuver, kill these guys real quick. 
Oh, because there's another chest. Oh, I love their eyes. Okay. They're gone. Chest. Oh, wow. Nether quartz? That is Curse of Vanishing, which isn't horrible. Barrels full of gunpowder. And then this... This person. You've got to go. Sorry, pillager. You're out of here. More TNT and TNT... Man, all the TNT and gunpowder. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Definitely some good loot. Now, under this is where things are a little bit weird. Like I said, I have that spawner there. So I want to keep that spawning those things. But underneath this, is there special stuff under here? It looks like there is. Okay, so there's some chest here. There's a melon. There's some crates. Some cooked food. All the food, man. So much food. And is there anything else in here? Can't really tell. I don't want to go down here, I don't think. No, I guess it's not horrible down here, is it? They, It's kind of blocked off, so they, they can't actually even get to me. Buckets of water. Okay, and we just have melons. And all kinds of fish and stuff. Interesting. Yeah, this area... I mean, it just basically made a farm. Oh, I can't believe that. It's too good. I mean, honestly, how do I beat, <laughs> beat today's episode? This has just been absolutely insane. Like, I... Oh, man. What an epic, epic day. Um, so, I was looking at making this right here, the magnetic ring. Uh, we do have that ring, right? It gave us that one piece of armor. Uh, but if we take this, it's going to go into a, a ring slot and apparently be a magnet. So we have, it just requires a diamond and uh, redstone, which all I have to do is a tiny bit of mining, but we might work on that next episode. This is this has been too much today. I think I need to, to take a break and just relax and pet the zebras, you know? Something like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to go to Papa Corbs. Thank you so much for being an amazing supporter over over on Patreon. Guys, if you were interested in becoming a Patreon yourself and supporting the content that I make, be sure to check out the description down below. Also, while you're down there, there's so many other links, stuff to my social media and also my Twitch. I do live stream over at Twitch. You can find me there Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. I'm just having a whole lot of fun playing a whole lot of uh, games, just Minecraft or whatever else it is. But guys, I really appreciate it. And I would love to see you over there. Um, if you would, be sure to click that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up as that helps a whole lot. And maybe comment something down below. If something you enjoyed in today's video <laughs> or seen something funny, let me know down in the comments. Guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.